you never have. Why you you're have? lucky. You're lucky you're here at Mort's invitation, brother, or you would not get out of Harlem today. Oh, I'm taking right. in my dinner to me. You see all those cops? You see all those police outside? They'll get you out of here. Yeah, when well, you can rap. Better get you out of Rabbi, here today, because Rabbi, if it wasn't for all those cops outside, you, you would not go home today. Big yeah. Why don't you join the Crips? Let me talk. Why don't you join the Crips again? That's your mentality. Come like this. What, what's the gentleman's name? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This man in the Hilton Hotel. Yeah, if, Annis ran, if Annis ran Roy away from him, out. it's because stay he didn't want to kill him. Uh, I tell you what, Annis had seven or eight people with him, and he ran. Scum like this does nothing. Scum like this. You're the scum. Scum like this says no fear. Uh, you, you use that scum like this puts no fear. Shut up, you're rude also. Uh, scum like this. Scum like this puts no fear in the hearts of blacks because we've struggled all of our lives. I see we've but what the, what the, the show. scum like this does, it makes it difficult for the hard, honest white person in America who oh. does not visualize things the way you do. That's who you make it difficult for. Because, because then you allow... Let me introduce, let me introduce Rabbi uh, Rosenberg. Rabbi, you've... Uh... Pearl comes from one grain of sand, sir. What do you come from? One piece of <laughs> I don't use that terminology. Let me... Actually, I'm a nice guy once you get to know me. Let me go to Rabbi Rosenberg. Incidentally, his synagogue was uh, recently desecrated. Rabbi, I don't know if it was by people like this or who. Well, you know, Stonewall and I have been involved in uh, many, many humanitarian uh, acts over many, many years, and we're very close friends. Okay. As far as any attack you have on the Jewish people, I'm happy to tell you that we now have Jewish power. We're not afraid of any of you. Are you leading the Jewish defense right now? That's fine. One more time. Leading the Jewish defense league against anybody that attacks Israel, is that your thing, Rabbi? I tell you, you what I was like in the do. Jewish Defense League, don't you say? Yeah, we smashed them in L.A. We smashed beat the them. living hell out of them. You walked down the street and you walked down. And Reuben ran out the door. Out of you, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't they? Okay. I say, you walked down the street in San Francisco shortly after doing my show, and they beat the out of you, didn't they? Yeah. Hey, we had a big white, white, white uh, pride march in San Francisco. We did march in San Francisco. How come the state? Israel is allied with South Africa if you love the blacks so much. You know if what you I'd love like the to do? So much, what about being allied with South Africa? You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to call upon a dear gentleman and a dear friend of mine who you just attacked, Roy Ennis, for the two of us to start a national coalition against all these people and to have blacks and Jews on a national level coincide against hate mongers such as yourself. <laughs> I never attacked Roy, Roy Ennis, you what are you talking about? You can't about? even speak correctly. Do you admit that to... your friends in Israel allied with South Africa? What do you tell black people about that? Well, 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 All right, well, let's hear, well, let's, let's, let's hear how do you handle it. Let's, let's see how we handle it. Also, there are African countries, black African countries, who are purchasing arms from uh, South Africa. So some of the, some, we, some, some of, uh, some of our, some, some of our dealings are, are purely financial and not all racial. Uh, Why are you running gun for this man over yeah. here? He's robbing the blacks and the whites too. I'll be happy to answer his question. Blacks for bla black servant, uh, blacks for black pride. That's what this, I believe in. This this is blacks so determination. This is so typical of the media and of these types of like people, all right? Concept. Try and get the blacks and the like whites going concept. at each other. Eliminate all the other was, issues. This is the bull we've had to put up with for 40 years of liberal rule in this country, and you're part of the problem. We're going to be back. We'll talk about the next generation of hate, the Aryan youth. Join us. You know, the thing we have to watch out for is we have to watch out for this type of thinking permeating the youth, all right? 
And that's exactly what Tom's doing. You're not just satisfied with middle-aged bigotry and stupidity and hatred. You're teaching the young to hate with the Aryan youth movement. How do you justify that? I mean, can you? That's your subjective. Own kid, your own kid you call it hatred. I call it love. We're getting the youth, white youth of America. We love our race. And we love it enough that we're willing to die for it if we need to. That's what we're doing you're across this country. This summer, to we'll have a national coalition meeting. The Euro-Caucasian provisional government in this country, the war started in 1984 when Robert J. Matthews and the order declared war on the system in Washington, and we support that declaration of war today. We're not here to convince necessarily anybody, because what's going to happen is going to happen. How many members do you have? And these people How many better get out of the way. How many members do you have? How many members? Thousands of them all thousands. across the country. Yeah. Thousands. Of the right kind. Think, you, you, the right, right kind. And you think thousands of wimps like you two guys are going to crush us? Huh? If you we'll know the pressure points, if you know the pressure points, the thousands will do it. Let me go back to Carl a second. Carl, the last time you were here, you said you train kids in deadly force. That's right. Who do you want them to kill? Huh? No, I just want to protect yourself. We don't fight unless we're attacked first. We've been attacked many times in the streets. Was that kid? Was that kid who We've tried? We've been attacked many times in the streets. Okay, was that kid who tried to get out of your organization, who was found nailed to a board? Was that not attacking? You didn't do that, right? No. Of no. course not. You guys didn't nail a of member of yours not. who tried that to get Greg out. That was Greg Withrow. I didn't attack him. He, I never you attacked Greg Withrow. You did not crucify Withrow. him and nail him but to But he lied on me on the Phil Down and Donahue show. He lied about you. Oh, right? he sure did, yeah. They protect white youth. They protect white womanhood. And they protect white people who want to be protected. And if anybody goes against them on the street, they're going to get smashed. But isn't this a gentleman <laughs> that had, had his philosophy smashed in California? What? Well, I'm well, telling isn't you. Isn't this the same gentleman that had his philosophy shoved up his rear end in California on the street? Yeah. yeah well, yeah. you're just showing your ignorance. Rabbi, no, Rabbi, you're I want the rabbi to answer a question, because a question I, was asked by one of these gentlemen, what about Israel's alliance with South Africa? I think How do you explain that? Yeah. Let me hear it. Yeah. Mira, let's not waffle out of questions here. I, I'm not here to defend that, but I'll tell you one thing. Why, why? Not? Give me a why? why. I'll tell you why. Because we have apartheid here in America. Let's clean up the problems here first. <laughs> and one of the things I've got to warn you all about is people like this. You're a Jewish Nazi, is all you are. Well, you're an idiot. But people like you try to divide blacks and Jews. A Jewish and I'll tell you something. No one's afraid of you. You guys are silly. You're a bunch of idiots. And we can defend ourselves against you any day. Oh, yeah, any I'm sure day. you can. I'm going to yeah, tell you. Yeah. Go out, attack anybody that disagrees with Israel. That's all you've ever done. I, you and it. I, I think How's you your would, buddy Mordecai Levy doing? I think all of you would like to believe. I think, see, people like you who spread hatred would like for uh, blacks in this audience and across America to feel that all Jews are in agreement with South African policy. You should that's, listen to Louis that's Farrakhan. Just what if, is, Louis Farrakhan just is wrong. a good black leader. He told you the same thing. That's just as wrong. That, I was there. That's I was at his rally in L.A. That's yes, just as wrong as your, 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 your position. Yes, if we wanted to be fair about the dealings with, in South Africa, uh, then we as blacks should also address the black countries who are purchasing arms from South Africa. What, about, if, what, if, what do you think? Let me ask country? you something. What do you which, think of what Louis which, Farrakhan said which, about the Jews? Which black country? Which uh, black country? What's the, what's the warring country? Um, the, uh, the, the last country, I, I, it, it, it loses me right now. Do you believe um, jury? He wants to answer your question about Farrakhan. Let me hear. Louis Farrakhan is Hitler revisited, and the same thing that happened to Hitler should happen to him. He just Hitler 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 created a lot of great jobs for the German people. He brought the German German economy up. And so Farrakhan. That's right. Leave Farrakhan alone. Then we should exactly. Farrakhan should join Hitler in a bunker, and he should be dead. We Jews and we blacks should Bring your hatred America. out, Jew. Bring your America. hatred out, Jew. And we Jews and we blacks, we Jews. Speak for yourself. This, we, is, this is the NY free speech and social justice. This one right here. They play both sides really, of the street. Never I want to get from Carl, from Carl and from Tom. I want to get something straight from you guys, all right? I really want to try to understand your twisted minds, guys. Give me a short list of your heroes and your favorites in American history. A short list. <laughs> Charles Let me hear Lindbergh, from you Jr., who said our bond with Europe is a bond of race. If the white race is ever attacked, we should go to its defense with every 
plane in the sky and every ship in the sea. That was Charles Lindbergh. All right, who's your other heroes? Well, we, we have uh, William Jennings Bryan, Eugene's De Eugene Debs of the great white labor movement yeah, in this country. Hitler? He's your main hero. Hitler did a lot of good for a lot of people. And you Jews, if you could have got a hold of that, you would have run that too. And he was that. just like yeah. you. See? Let me hear from Carl who some of your heroes are. Who are some of your heroes? Some of my heroes are yeah. people like Frank Silva, David Tate, uh, Robert J. Matthews, the people of the order. Those were my heroes. So let me hear. Here's the gentleman. Yeah, and Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler's a hero of yours? Yeah. Adolf Hitler's a yeah. hero of yours? I think that's what I said, yeah. You have no idea how many whites he killed, too, do you? There, there, there were people, all people were killed. But they only cried for the Jews. They built big monuments killed. to the Jews. You'd think they were the only people that ever got no, killed. Lord, we cry for the Christians and for the Jews. Oh, I never heard you cry for the Christians once. 70 million. I million, have always six million, million, six million. On behalf of Christians who perished also, there were many Christians who gave their lives on behalf of Jews. It's people million. like you who want all of humanity million. dead. I want you out of this country. <laughs> You're a let, me, let me hear from this gentleman. Yeah. This gentleman's yeah. name, name is Rabbi Zippet. Right Zippet, Carl. Let me ask this gentleman. Let me ask, I think your name is Saeed uh, Saladin. Saladin. Saeed, Saeed Saladin. Saladin is my name. First thing I want to do is welcome you to Harlem, Morton Downey. And I want, to, uh, I want everybody to get a round of applause for the inner city broadcasting company for renovating this Apollo Theater. Go ahead. Right, it's Apollo. And in the, the Apollo Theater, if you half step in, you get booed, whether you're a famous movie star or a chump. So I just want to say, but let me warn everybody in this audience about one thing especially. In the South, where the white man tell you how he feels, and he's honest with you, and he lets you know where you're standing at, you seem to prosper. If you go down South, black folk own land. More black colleges are in the South than there is in the North. More black people own land in the South than they do in the North. More in the North, people. they claim to be integration and they love black people, but they talk one thing out their mouth and they got another thing in their heart. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about, hold on, hold on. I'm talking about down South white folk. I was shocked to go down South and I lived in Arizona. I've been in Oklahoma, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. I never received respect from white folk until I went down south. I never met a more warm people until I went down south. And the trick is played up here in the north where you got a lion cracker who speak one thing and say another thing. Look at the schools, look at the dope. Ain't no dope flourishing in the south. So what I'm telling you, I don't agree. I don't agree. I do not agree 100% with what the white supremacists are saying, but I'm gonna listen to them because I know a lot of white folks think like, like them. I know they have an impact. Well, right. That's all that means. We're gonna continue to be a nation of all people, or we're gonna be uniting by separating. Let's find out when we come back in the next segment. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me come, please, to uh, George again, if you don't mind. Uh, George Holmes, when we talk about people getting along with each other, it brings up immigration, all right? You're familiar with that. Is our, is our virtual open border policy helping or hurting all of the Americans who live here now? Well, Mort, it can do anything but hurt. It's got to help. This country was founded on people coming from all over the world, from Africa, from the Caribbean, from Europe, from Asia, and they well, came together. They, was found, they came together in slave ships, baby. They came together. They came different ways, but we got to understand something. This country was built on the backbones of the immigrant. We've got to allow those people who want to come to this country, who want to build, and we've got to allow them to come in, and we've got to give them the status they need to succeed right, well, here. And, and more, before, let before me ask you go, a question. Let me ask you a question, Carl. That's all well and good. 
We have an open border so that Mexico can pour across. We have an open border so San Salvador, so all of these Hispanic nations can come across. And I think that's great that we all live together. How about opening them up so my Irish can come across, all right? This is 275,000. 275,000 illegal Irish in this country, and they want to boot their ass out. I want them here, too. Well, Moy, that, that's a misconception. That's a misconception because the fact is that the borders are open for Europeans to come in no, whenever they want. No, it's the not. Africans and the Caribbeans who are having problems coming in. That's where, that's where immigration needs to open up its borders to, the, to, the, to our brothers and sisters from Africa, from the Caribbean, yeah, and from the third world countries. That's the immigration policy that this country needs to develop. All right. Yeah, well, I, like to, I like to... Uh, Look, I like to, I like to, uh, Look, let me tell you something. I like let me to, hear from John. Let me hear from John. Look, the first ones that get hurt are the blacks with immigration. Are you kidding? We come from California. The Mexicans Listen, swarm across the border. I don't need you border. supporting anything I say or do, all right? Let me tell you Listen, something. Don't, don't, the don't try black to union, what it was. The I use black that word very specifically in, in what you're saying because I'm not afraid of you. I know where you're coming from. You I can deal with. You I can deal with because I know where you're coming from. It's the folks who hide in the closet, the ones that we got to worry about. You I can deal with. I'm not afraid of you. I can walk down the street with you any day, and I'm not afraid of you because if you step on my toe, you're going to hit the pavement. That's the bottom line. It's the old folks that I'm worried about. And it's the people who set the policies in this country I'm worried about. You don't set the man. Let me hear Stonewall. I'd like to address the uh, gentleman there. I'd like to address your, your, uh, uh, your statement. You said before that blacks in the, in the South are, 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 are achieving, and I agree with you. Uh, that's one of the problems with the Northern black, and a lot of that is within us. We, we have not bought that from the South here. Once we came to the North, we seem to have forgotten that what we need is not to wait for whites to do something for us, but to do something for ourselves. We tend, we tend to want to lose ourselves in an integrative structure or to be accepted under unequal levels. We would want low-income housing in middle-class neighborhoods on an unequal basis to have our heads rubbed. We forget that we need entrepreneurship, uh, political upper mobility and economic upper That's mobility. Right. And forget about that, no that nonsense That's that all. you are That's not going to do. And, 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 and one other thing like this, we know. Don't let him come in with that big shot gobbledygook. Our biggest fear in the North. I'll tell you the gobbledygook. I'll tell you the gobbledygook. You worry too much. You worry too much about guys like this, me, or anyone else telling the black community who their leaders I should be. Let them pick us. them themselves. Like this, I'm just talking about. about the same people this, who are screwing this, up. There's some like this we don't worry about, but the also liberal we like should work, we should worry about because those are the ones that are misleading us. Tom, I guess what it really boils down this to... This is what I'm right I guess here. what it really boils down to... I'm just giving to. you guys a free tip. Why don't you listen? That's what, that's what guys like Garvey, Garvey's given. And if you They've always given, the you know free, given the black community a free tip. You know what's free, baby? Ain't nothing free except his mouth, all right? Our audience is going to speak next, so watch out, boys. Stand by. Let's, I promise this gentleman, he was first up to bat. Loudmouth one, sir, your name. Okay. I just want to make it clear Let that I have... have the microphone on down here, please. Go ahead. I just want to make it clear that I have nothing to do with this gentleman over here for the audience, <laughs> firstly. Secondly, uh, the rabbi has continually skated on a question from the audience, and I'd like to present the question for the brother that asked the question. Uh, in terms of Israel, they have had a, given a lot of support to South Africa in terms of arms and shipments, et cetera, et cetera. You have not addressed that question as to why Israel is doing that. Secondly, I heard you make a statement that uh, you cried for the Jews and for the Christians. How about all the black people who are still dying in South Africa? What is your comment? Thank you. Bye-bye. I think the question was a very good one. 
I don't represent the state of Israel. I can't answer for the state of Israel. What I can answer for... Do you approve of their trade I don't with South approve Africa? of any situation where humanity is made any less than being human. That's my personal feeling. Semantic. As far as why... As far as why... As far as why we don't cry or do cry out for our black brethren, I'll tell you something. You don't need me to cry out for you. You have leaders who can take care of yourselves very well. You don't need me. Second of all, any do you humanitarian cry? worth his salt will speak on behalf of blacks, on behalf of Jews, on behalf of Orientals, on behalf of all humanity. Because when a Hitler goes after someone such as these people, they go after the entire human race and try to destroy anyone. When he was playing the fiddle, it reminded me of the concentration camps when they watched Jews and non-Jews in the crematorium and they played the fiddle. We have to unite together on behalf of humanity. Do you? I'm going to ask the question. You want the I'm going to turn your shock through. Zip it. You want shock I'm going to ask the question one more time. Are you upset with the fact that Israel trades with an apartheid suppressive nation like South Africa? Yes or no? I personally am yes upset. Yes or no? Yes. Right. Absolutely. Go ahead, sir. Does your synagogue support Israel? Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. What are you going to do about it? What have I done about it? I spent my entire career on behalf of peace and humanity. That's what I'm going to do about it. That's why I am in shows like this. That's why I work with Stonewall. That's why I go against idiots like this. Because humanity is what is Israel. I will say the rabbi has stood up. I ask you a question. I want you two aliens to ask me, what do you think we're going to be doing as the human race as you come around spreading your racist propaganda? What do you think we're going to be doing to defend ourselves? Do you come say you're going to kill us? Kill our babies, kill our babies, etc. We got a white civil war going on. It's between whites. We got a civil war for 40 years. We still fight. We got a civil war since we. Since we. Since we. That's what it is. Elite against the elite and the Jews. Oh, that's the elite and the Jews. Just, uh, yeah, where were you from six years old? You were hanging us like rabbits. European non semi people, that's why. I understand that. Yes. You, you say we people are white. Look, come to the table if you want to eat. We'll sit down and discuss it on a national level. Yeah, but when I want to eat food, I don't want my food poisoned, if, if you, you understand what I'm saying. Come to the table, you won't be able to eat. You know, I, I've, I've been offered, I've offered. Plan. These are the same type of people that want you all dead. Yeah. Let me, say now let me tell you something, Carl. All right. I went the day before yesterday to a rally that was supposed to be held. The media blurted it out all over the place of the Ku Klux Klan in Valley cool. Forge, Pennsylvania. There were 15 thing. jerks in starched white sheets, all right, <laughs> who probably... Who oh, probably had nothing but wet dreams in those starch ones. <laughs> and there were 200, 200 people from the media who were able to get other people down there to watch. I went down there, spit in the guy's face, and every white and black person there left and left that scum alone what with the media. Down. And you're the type of scum, you're the white type of scum. came across to get in. There, there are a whole bunch of white people brought through the line right. to join. I have never, I have never, I... Let me hear you. I, I, I don't have a sheet. Let me have you. I was going to say, I have never come to black... I would not go out and poison their food. It's not my fault what happened two, uh, 100 years ago. I'm talking about right now. It's I don't know what right happened now. 100 years ago. It's happening right now, pal. No, we're not out it's hanging black. Let, let me hear you. Let me hear you. You zip. This is the audience. You zip. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. My name is Paul Merrill, and I just want to say one thing to this man right here. You said white media, fella, look around. You, you, with the wig, with the rug, you, all right? You had... You, you, all right? You had the nerve to tell Roy Deputy, white media, hey, fella, look around, buddy. We got multicolor here, all right? That's number one. And you, you, you dirty son of a bitch, all right? Let me tell you something, all right? Let me tell you something. 
brave on How TV. come down south you wear the sheets, man? Up in Harlem, you don't. And I, for one, feel offended with the flag on your jacket with the KKK. I'll buy by and I want it. That's right, Give I can go anywhere I want to go. Give us that one respect. Uh, Take the listen. flag no, off, buddy. No, I still wear it right, right here. Because you ain't got the sheets, there. buddy, but your colors are showing. I don't wear the sheets. Come back to I'm not in the clan. Again. Stay with us. Right. Come on. like you and your movement that are instilling vicious and heinous ideas in today's Coming youth. Coming from you all, I that you're as a compliment. Man, you are burning. Oh, you don't you are burning. I'm a Jew and I'm proud of it. And it's vicious people like you that are giving the Jewish race and the blacks a bad name. Hey, you and you should be shot. And it's coming, home, it's coming shot. home to roost to you. It's coming home to roost. You brought it on yourself and it's coming home to roost. Oh, yeah? You Nazi bastard. Oh, you should be shot. Well, you tell me what you want. Shot. You tell me what you want. Six million Jews died in World There's, War II. You're the face of Jew we like to see. You're Jewish the face of Jew we like to see. Wait a minute. You're wait, typical wait, of your I'm race. Not, wait, I'm not Jewish. What, what makes you better than anybody else? Who I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else. Supreme? I'm just I'm one separation. Know, that's all. It says all men, all men are created equal. Wait a minute. You, you're against wait, freedom of speech. Wait a minute. All men are created equal. Are those men? I'm not talking about okay. equal or not, I'm talking about separation for the survival of the black and the white race. Oh, man! You're vermin! You are vermin! Don't you want to survive? You should be shot! Let me hear this gentleman. If I get it there, I'm Let me hear this gentleman. Sir! Sir! You step yeah, up sir. there. Uh, directed to you, scumbag, and this lizard face. I want to know why you said... Y'all in war fighting when we, the brothers, is down in the front line getting killed. In Vietnam, huh, bitch? And this motherfucker, yeah. Hey, I would like to be there. I'm so I'm right now. You try. Like you. Try. Try. You ain't no You ain't no Let me go up to the balcony. 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 Go ahead, sir. Zip it. I want to go up here. Yeah, I've been around. I've been around. You're very fortunate. What about? You, know what I'm saying? you ain't been nothing. You ever seen Rabbi, let me hear this gentleman. I'd like to know what about uh, uh, Jewish racism in Borough Park, where the, uh, where the Jewish kids spit on the Gentiles and, and say goy and they uh, want to buy a house, and, and, and the, the guy from Israel says, said to the real estate woman, I'll kill you. And the chief, chief rabbi of Lubavitch's in his Hanukkah message in the paper says, uh, love of your uh, fellow Jew is uh, one of the most important things, but nothing about love of your fellow person. We should love everybody, not, not just uh, Jews loving Jews only. Hey, man, what we got on the stand. Hey, pal. Hey, hey, you got to listen and understand. All Jews aren't great. All That's whites right. aren't great. All blacks aren't great. That's right. None of us are all great. There's a bunch of kiss asses out there. Don't worry You're about right. that. You're right. Worry about the masses. On our next show, seven. You shut up. You shut up. Talk about Vietnam. You just shut up. You just shut up. You just shut up. Say something. On our next show, and our next show tomorrow night, also from the Apollo Theater, we have coming up a solution to racial problems. Listen to this. Separatism. Tomorrow night from the Apollo, we'll have Robert Brock. Would you step forward, Robert? Who is a black separatist. And we'll have... We'll have Daniel Johnson, who is a white separatist. And looking at these gentlemen, I can damn well understand why they want to be separate. Right. Look, pal. It's very simple. There's no place in this world for people who hate particularly people who have no other reason other than the color of someone's skin. I hope we've exposed some of these jerks. He swept everything under that rug. Uh, now, 
Let's get them the hell out of the building. Give them a 10 second head start down 125th Street. Good night, everybody.